Breaking news. Philip Humadi versus Hope Ozedema. Has Governor Hope Ozedema come to the end of the road? That's the big question, oh, my people. Remember that um, APC had no candidate in Imo State because the candidate that was supposed to be the APC one was in his former party thinking of deflecting to APC but could not complete the process as he had both nomination form for both parties. And so what happened? He was disqualified on the ground that he was in two parties, could not ascertain which one really he was. But all of a sudden, hope from nowhere became the candidate. Only God truly knows. He's been taken to court for Supreme Court to explain how hope got there. Let's understand all. Finally, the long-awaited January 11, 2021 is here and many Nigerians are actually waiting to see the outcome of the suit filed by Chief Philip Umadi San. It can be recalled that Chief, um, Chief Philip Umadi San approached the Supreme Court demanding that the Apex Court enforce her own judgment which ruled that Uche Wonsu is the APC candidate for the March 2019 Imo State Governorship election and subsequently disqualified him for double nomination APC and AA. Good. With this judgment in mind, many have argued that Governor Hope Zedema could not have been a candidate for the election in which he lost his candidacy to Uche Wonsu. Again, some have equally argued by the implication of the disqualification of APC candidates as a political party was urgently disqualified from that election. Therefore, as the Supreme Court is set to hear Chief Philip Umadi's suit, demanding that the court should enforce her own judgment on this, many have argued that Governor Hope Ezedema may have come to the end of the road as Imo State Governor. Why this is being argued, the belief of many, some have equally argued that the governor may come out victorious following his previous miraculous victory earlier, on which brought him in, of which brought him into office. As such, no one can say for sure what the possible outcome of the suit can be. With all this in mind, it could be argued that tension is high among the people and members of the governor's camp, while the camp of Emeka Ihedema, who are hoping to benefit from the enforcement of this judgment, appear to be optimistic and calm, believing that our judiciary system will do their work and victory will be assured. The suit which is said to be heard today is coming about a year after judgment that brought Hope Zedema no matter who comes out victorious today, the judgment will go down in history as one that neither stamped the authority of the Supreme Court or one that set precedence for non-enforcement of judgment. Therefore, the suit is indeed a critical one that may transit beyond the knowledge of the layman. As such, we just have to be calm why waiting for the APS court to decide on the matter? Meanwhile, we would like to hear what you think with regards to this matter. Hope is a demar, not a candidate. As a matter of fact, the same court disqualified the, the APC candidate for DUA nomination. So, how did APC that has been disqualified according to uh, um, according to INEC standard be had a candidate who now eventually became the governor it's still very confusing so that's where we are at the moment we really like to hear from you honestly sincerely you know we'll be, we're following closely the case i'll be bringing you up to date so please stay tuned be ready as um, we'll be bringing you you know real time the matter is set to be starting anytime from now and we'll be bringing you up to date as the matter unfold we know that our very own brother emeka is also waiting at the other end, anxiously waiting. I mean, everybody who goes to the court case wants to be victorious, 
Nobody wants to be, you know, wants to be a loser. So, I mean, the stakes are high. Yes, everybody's looking anxiously and waiting to know what the decision will be at the end of the day. Whatever happens today, you know, we decide the fate of not just our democracy, but APC and Nigerian judiciary system, if really and truly they are honest. Because the world is watching. You know, this case is a very controversial one. With all that has gone down, oh yes, very controversial. How did so a party that had no candidates, all of a sudden, they won the election? It's very confusing, honestly. If you dissect the whole thing, there is nothing that can say to you really and truly that, you know, we don't know how they got there. We are still waiting anxiously to get the result of everything. The court will be sitting. Uh, this son has asked, you know, to get the understanding of what is really going on because uh, it really baffles him. He's very, he's very surprised with how somebody who did not participate in the election, you know, somebody who was defeated by a candidate and because that candidate was duly, I mean, nominated, was disqualified. And I now concluded by saying APC has no candidate in this election. All of a sudden, he was defeated by the candidate that was defeated, that was that was scrapped out and INEC declaring that they have no candidate. So it's very confusing on a more serious note. Very confusing. We are waiting anxiously, anticipating that Nigerian judiciary system will do well and will tell us the truth. You know, people are beginning to believe, have some faith in the judiciary system. Will they live up to the standard or will some people be ple pleasing their principle? We know how the judiciary system of Nigeria, of course, these days they've been trying to regain their, their position and their name. However, a lot of people have lost faith in them. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. A lot of things have happened. And Nigerians are, hmm, it is what it is. You know, nobody can be bothered anymore. But are they going to prove us wrong by interpreting in detail, according to the law, what is really happening? For the vice president of the country is a professor of law anyway. So we expect that we should have the truth. You know, as someone of integrity who Nigerians are looking up to, to tell them the truth in this um, outcome, we are anxiously waiting and we'll be keeping you up to date as the matter unfolds. So you understand, so that's what it is today. That's what is happening. That's what it is at the moment. You know, very, it's very, I mean, it's a very skeptical uh, point where we are now. Is a point that people are, <laughs> they can't understand it. But leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. God bless you. Bye for now.